So the first thing we do is to verify that the patient's name on the container matches the paperwork. And this one does. So we're going to dry it off as much as possible, and that helps the adhesion of the ink. So now we're going to lay the specimen down with the seminal vesicles pointing towards you. Now I'm going to take the green ink on the right side, the patient's right side. So we're just basically going to do just the right side of this gland. We use these little foam swabs to apply the ink. And now I'm going to put blue ink on the patient's left side. Then we're going to use the gauze to get off any excess ink. We're going to hold the specimen by the seminal vesicles and we're going to apply black ink to the gland itself. Just a light spray on both sides. So now at this point we're ready to begin sectioning the specimen. So now it's time to cut the specimen. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off the seminal vesicle complex. And we're going to lay it aside for right now. So now we can take the measurements of the gland itself. So the first thing I'm going to take is the left to right measurement, 5.3. The next is the height, 3.3. And then the length from apex to base, 4.3. Now that we have it measured, we can uh, weigh it. Now we take a volume measurement by doing water displacement. So I've got a cylinder here with 900 mLs of distilled water and measure how much displacement we get. It looks like it's right at, at 50 cc's. One way if you're not real certain of what the correct plane is, is to stick a probe through here. So you want to be perpendicular to this plane. That's how you figure out the correct path to cut. We're going to start at the apex and bread loaf foot. I use scissors to make the final cut so it doesn't tear into that outer. Tomorrow when we're embedding, this piece will be bread loafed in little sections. So this is the first cut. Now you can see where we left off here. You can very plainly see the nodules and appears to be some uh, calcifications in there. Uh, Try to get about four millimeter sections and all the way to the base. Now when I get to this point, it gets too hard to cut and hold the specimen, so I lay it down and attack it from this angle. I 
Okay, now we're going to deal with the seminal vesicles. So if they're attached, they're called seminal vesicle complex. So right up here at the top, this particular one happens to be attached. Now that we've made those first two cuts, you've got a separate right and left. And then we use uh, crinoline that you get at a fabric store. And we make little bags with a heat sealer and put them in that. Mm. And that stands up to all the acid, all the alcohol and xylene on the processor. And they come through beautifully. C-R-I-N-O-L-I-N-E. It's um, very similar to the same material, the nylon knit and wedding gowns for the, the bride's veil. Except crinoline's a little uh, stiffer, and it works better with the heat sealer. And we're going to seal this on three sides with the sealer. We'll trim it. We've got one more up there.